nice little family. <sighs> I didn't give anybody much notice, but that's okay. I've given a few people notice. And, uh, oh, you know what I didn't do is I didn't put my phone on Do Not Disturb. That wasn't smart. Hi. Well, I think that if I if it rings, I can ignore it and it won't throw us completely. Hi. Okay. I'm going to I'm going to let you guys have a little bit of time to all get on. Hey there. I'm uh feeling a lot of energy shifts right now and I'm wondering how you guys are feeling. My solar plexus and my heart chakra has been spinning since yesterday. <laughs> And my dreams last night, oh my God, I didn't uh, go to sleep. I didn't go to sleep until about four in the morning. And thank God, because I was awake and my cats were awake, they slept when I finally did. But my dreams, um, I asked to go somewhere, I asked to be shown something and I went and I was there and wow. And I think that's why I'm just, I'm still connecting and it's just, it's big time. Whew. So, um, I didn't want to just re do a reading and record it. I just thought it'd be better for me if I came on and hung out with you guys. So it's a weird energy day. It is. Yeah. Um, I'm not feeling sad. I'm feeling, I was feeling that the other day. Today I'm feeling more anxious. Like, I don't know what's about to happen. <laughs> like something's about to happen, you know? And uh, my landlord's gone for a couple days. And I don't know. There's just a lot of energy blowing through here. Hey, Carly Ray. <laughs> hi, Amy. So I, my stomach. I mean, I'm I'm on a swing. It's like hi, Holly. It's like you know when you go up on a swing. That that feeling. That's what I have. Butterflies, butterflies. So I feel like something good's gonna happen. I'm gonna focus on that. Hey. So I guess I will. Um, Ask us or bring us, bring us out some items to choose from. It's always so hard for me to figure out what the hell to choose from and why I'm choosing it. I should probably get that together before I start, but well, okay. We're going to choose from Blue Calcite. This was brought up to me by my client, Lisa, and uh, she says, I'm, I'm at this place. She goes, and I was talked into, or, or somebody said, here, choose two stones. And the two stones she chose were blue calcite and bloodstone. And I said, well, clearly she wasn't telling me that for no reason. Clearly I needed those stones. And when I looked at what they were, wow, did I need these stones? First of all, for myself, because of this feeling like I'm flying, ah, it's like I'm at, well, I was astral traveling last night because I definitely went to where I asked to go. And I was with and watching and I was part of this whole scene and, oh, anyway, so in order to come back down to earth, I need to get grounded. So that's bloodstone. And then if there's been a, a misunderstanding or, or a problem or a difficulty between you and another person, blue calcite is a communication stone. Any stone, any blue stone is about communication and truth and speech, but it's about, because it's such a soft, gentle color with the white going through it. It's about coming clean and it's about, it's about re-establishing lines of communication when there's been a break or when there's been a misunderstanding or where there's been hurt. So both of these stones, I was like, okay, I'm going to sleep with these suckers. So two of those can't stay. Oh, I'm sorry. You're feeling so crappy. We'll send you loving energy. We'll send you loving energy, Amy. So these are the first two items that we're going to choose from. Um, the second item is going to be Brutalated Quartz, because this is about loving vibrations. Um, this talks about a healing between you and, and a situation or another person. And th that's what I'm feeling. I'm feeling this energy and it's, it's a reciprocal energy. That's what this Brutalated Quartz stands for. So that's the third. And then the fourth one we're going to use the clear quartz crystal cluster because then we can put our own intentions on whatever whatever we want it to be 
Aqua Azura kept coming up for you last night and spirit confirmed that I needed to hold it and meditate. Cool. Cool. Okay, so here they are. Items. Clear quartz cluster. You can put your own intention on that for whatever it is that you want. Blue calcite for communication and truth. Rutilated quartz for energetically connecting, telepathically connecting to heal energy. And bloodstone for um, getting grounded. This is my, this is one of my pendulums. So I'm going to ask a message from, because of what, I, what I have sitting in front of me is the sacred rebels. And uh, hold on, let me choose for myself. What am I going to choose? Let me write these down. Well, obviously I was given, so I'll, I'll know what I'll choose. I'm going to choose, okay, blue, calcite, and bloodstone, because spirit gave them to me. So I'll choose those. And then rutilated quartz, and then clear quartz. Okay, because I want to know ahead of time. Okay, so I have the Sacred Rebel deck out in front of me. I felt like that was something that I just feel like that. I feel like that kind of rebellious, rebelliousness inside of me, but not in a negative way, in a way that spirit wants us to be rebellious, you know, to go after what it is that we what we really want, you know, to stand up, our, stand our truth and not be afraid and not allow any, anything to s stop us from living our dream. Sacred rebels, I like that. We should have a, we should have a, um, we should have a tank top that says sacred, I, I'm going to find one that says sacred rebels, I would like that. Sacred rebel, I like that. <laughs> Me too. Hi. I know, Joy, you always have issues with your communication, that sucks. You need to, that sounds too. Hi, Sandy. Hi, Gina. Okay, so we're going to start with, um, for those who chose the rutilated quartz, oh, I guess we're not, we're doing it differently, okay, I wrote it down differently. No, we're not, we're going to start with rutilated quartz, because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go across the desk the way I have it. So rutilated quartz, we're going to start with, and you know how we're going to do it, we're going to do it like we did it the other day. I'm going to do it where we're just going to do this, um, each item, and then I'm going to break it down to the signs. That way, everybody has to listen to every single item. Ha! <laughs> because spirit wants you to listen to these messages. So, for those who chose the rutilated quartz, correct for neutrality, let me show you again the items. Clear quartz crystal cluster, that you can put your own intention on, it's also an amplifier. Blue calcite, communication, healing rifts in communication. Rutilated quartz, which helps with telepathically and energetically healing energies between you and another. And, the bloodstone pendulum. My girlfriend Kimmy made me this pendulum and the crystal broke on the end so I added this and made it myself. Okay. All right, so for those who chose the rutilated quartz, actually before we start, we're gonna start with the singing bowl because I was asked and I, and I don't wanna forget that. song right now I'm speechless looking at you standing there in that dress somebody's smitten with somebody they're speechless I've been getting that a lot lately well then they should probably pick the blue calcite <laughs> to help them with their speech okay so I got to show you something <laughs> this is pretty funny I'm getting a couple messages and they're kind of randy they're kind of racy um, one is transformation and healing one is another is releasing baggage another is sex Remember, we kept getting sex a lot, but I am looking at this rutilated quartz, and I got to tell you, I'm wondering if I should do it. I'll show you from this direction. I can, I forgot I can do this. Okay, I'm looking at that rutilated quartz, I mean this, uh, this, and I'm seeing a penis. He's not huge, 
but he's ready. And then I'm also seeing a frog. See the frog? There's his face, there's his eye, there's his body. So somebody getting ready to take a leap of faith, somebody excited. Um, the phallic symbol has to do with creativity and forward movement. <laughs> oh my God. And right now, the song, We Fell in Love in a Hopeless Place. I think that's pretty funny. I looked down there and I literally saw a penis frog. So how about, it's probably the frog prince. It's probably the frog prince that wants to become a prince. Frog? Okay. For those who chose the rutilated quartz. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Correct for neutrality on all levels. For those who chose the rutilated quartz. What's the message that we need to hear most? Most need to hear. Bring it into form. Okay, this is kind of pretty cool considering what I just saw. You can actually see it from that direction too. You can see the frog. You can even see the crown on his head, right? Bring it into form. Hop to it. This is about walking forward on your path, your, your spiritually illuminated path. That's what I'm seeing. And you know, when you're the fool and you take a leap of faith, you, you go with no shoes, right? You don't, it's like you don't have everything planned out. You just go for it. This is, and this is about, to me, this is also, I see somebody playing in the, in the rain, right? This is what I would do. I dance in the rain. When it's pouring rain, I'm outside in it. So that's what this, somebody is outside dancing around in mud puddles. So they are, they're enjoying their life. There's life all around them. And look at the dragon, uh, what are those things called? Lightning bugs look to be all around. So something is, so your path has been illuminated to me. I feel like your path has been illuminated and you're running forward. Remember I said yesterday, it's about, you know, are you ready? I'll be ready if you're ready. Let's run. But it's not about running away from something. It's about running towards your destiny, running towards your life. Just like the song says, we fell in love in a hopeless place. All of a sudden it's like, it hits. Hi, you. Um... This is a dreamer of bringing, you know the, that song, um, A Million Dreams? I'm going to dream. We're going we're gonna to build a house filled with things from far away. People might think, think we're crazy, um, but, but, but we're going to live our dreams. We're going to do this. Come away with me. That's what I feel that I'm seeing here. That's what I'm feeling. Um, there's so many possibilities that we can bring to light. We're the ones that have to, to, to follow our path, right? We're, we're not supposed to follow anyone else. We're supposed to... Go for it, blaze our own trail, and leave footsteps behind us. Remember, go out, manifest destiny, and leave a legacy? All of these thoughts are coming when I'm looking at this picture. So basically, Spirit is saying, get to it. Hop to it. Hop to it. I can't believe this wasn't for the frog. But this is for rutilated quartz. So maybe you are connecting energetically with someone like I am. We are both. I am connecting with somebody. This is not just me alone. I'm feeling this. So you're being honored. You're being honored by spirit for honoring yourself and honoring your own soul's path and your own commitment. They're giving you a high five because they're wanting you to move forward and, and they're seeing that you're, complete, you're completely committing to your path, which is what we're here to do. We're growing. This is a reason, a wonderful, beautiful reason for us to commit. It's our path. It's about us moving forward. And these ideas that we might be having, they're gonna be coming into more co concrete form so that other people can learn from them, benefit from them, enjoy them, right? So if you've been thinking about doing something creative, which could be moving, which could be traveling, which could be writing a book, dancing, singing a song, um, writing a song, cr painting music, a uh, painting music, painting music. Well, you kind of do paint music, don't you? I mean, you do. If you're thinking of doing anything like this, Spirit is saying, yes, do it right now. Now's a really good time to use your creativity. Now's a really good time to ask and ask questions from an oracle. I asked last, I questioned last night as I went to sleep. I couldn't, I couldn't sleep. I was floating and it was strange and I heard all these audio messages. It was really wonderful. For many, many hours, I kept hearing audio messages. So I, st I was in a sad place yesterday. Like Sandy said, she's sad today. I was in a sad place yesterday and so I decided to focus on being grateful and asking for help. I asked that Amy, that just, Amy was just on. Amy has a twin named Sarah and she's in the hospital. She had a stroke and they're not together. They were together before this and they miss each other terribly. And I asked for a miracle for Amy and Sarah that they would, that something would happen that they could be together again. That was the one person. I asked for my landlord to be safe as he drove to Los Angeles today. I asked for 
protection, spiritual protection to be around my twin soul, around my daughter, around my son, around my grandson. I thanked Spirit for all of the landlords that I had. I went all the way back to, um, to Dennis Stotts in, in Sturgeon Bay, to my landlord here, to my landlord Gordon in Sedona, to um, my new landlord Kate. I was being grateful for all of those things and all of those people. I started thinking about my soul family. My Papa Terry went on a flight to um, Vietnam. Uh, he's not being honored as a war hero. And I have, I mean, I don't do war. I am not about it. I'm, I'm not a hunter. I'm not into any of that kind of stuff, but I love my Papa Terry and I was just being grateful. So as I was doing that, my, my mood shifted. My energy shifted and it started being a higher vibration. And I started asking about someone, where are you? Where are you? I started calling to them. Where are you? And I was literally taken there. And I was transported there. And uh, it was pretty amazing. It was pretty amazing. So the things that we can bring into form by our own free will and our desire, this is about bringing something into form. I asked to be taken somewhere. I asked, where are you? Show me. And I brought it into form. So... All of these, a song right now, I want to bring you along. I want to bring you along to this world that I see. A world that we can create. This is all about creating. What is it that you're wishing to create at this time? This is acts telling you actually that you need to take that step. If you've been dreaming about it, if you've been thinking about it, like this song, you know, you dream about a lot of things, but this is about putting it into action. And you're going to be provided with what you need to, to take the next step. Whatever it is. Um, so, the, this is rutilated quartz. So, this makes sense to me because I was connecting energetically with somebody and uh, bringing it into form. But I want to bring it out of the dream world, out of the etheric world, right? Out of the ethers into reality. So, right now, this is like, sometimes we feel like a dream is better than reality, right? And a lot of times people don't move forward because it's better in the dream world than, than it, it can't possibly be that amazing in, in reality. You know, you've got all the other crap that you have to deal with. But this is challenging you to bring it into the earth form. There's a lot more to be gained about having this in the real concrete form than just merely dreaming about it. This is about, that song was about bringing your dreams to reality. So, Spirit is saying that right now, super, super cool song right now. Hold on, I gotta hear what this, the words are saying. Don't be late. There's a friend. What is this, memory? Me me Oh, it's, it's connecting. Somebody's connecting with me big time. Lee, I was awakened at 3 a.m. this morning. I'm so ready to take the next positive step to bring abundance. Okay, we were all awake in the middle of the night. <laughs> no, I, I, I'm awake for a reason. When I'm awake, I'm downloading or I'm astral traveling or I'm connecting with my twin soul. And I was last night. I was doing all of it. So right now, Spirit is saying that this is something that needs to happen. Even if it feels like it's unimaginable, you are bringing this to reality, but you need to take the first steps. You need to run towards your dream. It's something, something is needing to be born into reality, and it may not be done in a traditional way. It's interesting, somebody said to me, your word for the day is traditional, and I said, I am anything but traditional. Now, I believe in traditional values, like marriage and, and love and honor and respect and truth. I, that's traditional. But as far as everything else goes, I'm not traditional. Right? I'm very untraditional. So this is saying that this is going to be brought into form in a way that may not be traditional. So what would that mean to you? That anything can happen. That spirit can bring this about in, in ways that you can't imagine. All you need to do is ask yourself, where, where do I want to go? What is it I want? And then start focusing in that direction and then allow spirit to bring it into form with you. But what's interesting is... This, this message, I love this. Yesterday, what was the, I think it was yesterday. Remember the sacred fool, who the sacred fool is? This is another form of the sacred fool. So this is something that you may be doing that other people are going to think you're a nut. 
other people are going to disagree with you, are, are not going to believe that it can possibly happen, that you can do it, or that it's safe, or that it's realistic or reasonable. This is the sacred fool, again, showing up. This is the second time in two days the sacred fool shows up. So it's going to happen in ways that are going to surprise you as well as the other ones in your life. But it's going to happen because it's meant to be. This is fated. This is literally a fated occurrence. So I don't have a gun. I don't have a gun. This is the song. Okay, this is what message needs to go out to the person that I met with in my dreams. No, I don't have a gun. Lyrics. Do you guys know this song? Do you know what the meaning of this song is? Nirvana, come as you are. Okay? Come as you are. Like this. Naked, open, vulnerable. As you are. These are the words. Come as you are. As I want you to be. As a friend. As a friend. As an old enemy. Take your time. Hurry up. The choice is yours, but don't be late. Take a, take a rest as a friend, as an old memory, memory. Come doused in mud, soaked in bleach, as I want you to be, as a, as a trend, as a friend, as an old memory. And I swear that I don't have a gun. No, I don't have a gun. La memoria, no, I don't have a gun. I swear I don't have a gun. Do you know what this means? This is, this is somebody, this is why this is related quartz. This is the reconnection. This is, I want you to come as you are. You were my friend, and then you became my enemy. I want you to come as you are, covered in mud, down on your luck, with your lies having been spoken, with the hurt that you've given me. I want you to come as my friend, and I don't have a gun, which means I'm not going to shoot you when you show up. Remember the person I saw the other night in my dream, and they shot that person? I said, stand up, and then they shot that person with words. And then um, what was posted, my girlfriend Kimberly posted that post about how you can hurt somebody with words more deeply than you can with a weapon because it's, it's, it, it, it cuts to the heart. And uh, I, this is a promise that if you come as you are, as you, if you come truthful, honest, come to me as you are, I know what's happened already. I know what's gone on. I know what we've gone through. I don't have a gun. I'm not here to shoot you. This is about, this is about coming together to discuss something, to fix something, to lay something to rest. This, this is, wow. And that might require a leap of faith for somebody. So that's one part of this message, right? That's one part of this message. It may not apply to other people, but that was a big message. I heard the song playing. Okay. So, I don't know what, what you guys are saying. Yeah, manifesting. Oh my God, I'm manifesting big time. Because I've gotten myself focused. I made my choices. I know what I want. I know where I'm going. And I keep making one step forward and then spirit makes the others to meet me. Okay. So now we're going to break it down into the signs. Okay. I had to turn that down. Sorry. Okay. So four. We'll start with earth, fire, water, air. Male, female, male, female, male, female, male, female. Somebody needs to talk to their mother. Somebody needs to say what they're doing. I just heard that. Mom, we need to have a talk. Okay. So, what deck should I clarify for? Come on, Sherry. Let's do this quick. Okay, we'll clarify. We'll do this with the um, angels, gods, and goddesses. Correct for neutrality. Earth signs. What is the message for earth signs? The message that's most applicable for earth signs or for those who chose the rutilated quartz. If you're not going by zodiac, you don't have to. It can just be all the messages that come from rutilated quartz. I have to make this quick, though. Earth signs. Okay, two came up, damn it. <laughs> two came up, damn it. One was the god of arts. Okay, the artist within you is about to emerge, which goes along with this, right? This is some creative project or an idea that wants to come to life. It could be anything. It could be a business. It could be a relationship. It can be your spiritual work. It just could be your own personal project, a new home, whatever it is, moving to a new place. This is confirmation, again, that the creative artist in you wants to emerge, whatever that might be. And the goddess of nature also comes forward. Now, it's interesting to me is I'm seeing also this is two different people. This could be an earth sign, and this could be a water sign. 
right? This is goddess of nature. You reap what you sow. Your dream is coming to fruition. Now, this can be in a positive or a negative, right? Whatever you have reaped, you will sow. And it could be between you, a water sign and an earth sign, or it could just be simply that, that a creative project is coming to life. You are reaping what you have sown, what you've put into, what you're, or what you will put into it is going to be fantastic. So go for it. Okay, so now I'm going to break it down. I'm doing it fast, just like that. Um, yeah. Am I pulling cards for individual signs? I will. I don't know how many. Male. Um, earth signs. Male earth signs. Okay, we're just doing earth right here. So I think I might even just break it down and do everybody. So we'll do Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Okay, this is going to take me a bit, but... Virgo men, someone new. Virgo men, the number six. Don't be so focused on the material world. Fo focus your thoughts more towards spirit and allow them to help you. Deal with whatever it is, this, this creative project or whatever it is that you're wanting to bring forward into life. Could be six months, six weeks, the sixth of the month, six days, six hours. I gotta turn the radio down. Correct for neutrality on all levels. Uh, Virgo females, your successes can be truly amazing right now. So why the hell not go for it, right? Because the creative artist in you is wanting to come out. Spirit says bring it into form. And what you sow, you're going to reap. And you're ready. Huh. Nice. Taurus males, correct for neutrality. Taurus males, time frame. You got weeks in order to bring this about or something's happening in a matter of weeks. And there will be a peaceful resolution. So, aside from all the creative, you know, aspects, I told you that the Rutilated Quartz was about um, connecting energetically and reconciling differences and past hurts and wounds being healed energetically between the two. So, this peaceful resolution has a lot to say about that. Correct for neutrality on all levels. Taurus women, I mean, Taurus men, sorry, sorry, sorry. Be yourself and you will warm people's hearts. So... Walk your walk, talk your talk, and just be who you are, your own true authentic self, right? Okay, Capricorn, men, Capricorn, men. Oh, wait, did I do women? Did I do women or did I just forget? <laughs> Hi, Donna. Donna, uh, is Sherry doing? Yes, I am. Um, shit, I can't remember. Somebody tell me. Did I do um, female, Taurus? I'll do it again if I didn't. I know there's a, um, nothing can stop you now. And be compassionate with yourself. You're more than okay, okay? Walk on your path. Move forward. All right, so then I go to Capricorn men. Capricorn men, in regards to this, bringing it into form or walking forward on your path and reaping what you sow and the creative artist coming forward. Ooh, someone's very attracted. Ha! Someone's very attracted. Maybe they're very attracted to your creative idea, your project. Somebody else is very uncertain. Hmm. Well, sorry about that. Capricorn females. You have grown a lot. You're reaping what you have sown, and you have grown a lot through your experiences. Capricorn women, friends with possibly more. I know you guys can't see. I, somebody told me it goes backwards, but I just want you to see that they are what I'm telling you. Okay, so now I go to fire signs. I gotta do this fast. This is this is gonna take me a long time. I don't know why I do this. I did this the other day. Correct for neutrality on all levels, fire signs. Message for fire signs. Correct for neutrality on all levels, fire signs. Wait a second. No, I just gotta do fire signs with the same card. What the hell am I doing? Okay, male fire signs, sorry. <laughs> ha! Be assertive, male fire signs. Again, be compassionate with yourself. You're more than okay, but another one came out on top of it, and it was apologize. So you need to be assertive and apologize. That was clear. And be compassionate with yourself. So you know what? You can, don't be hard on yourself. Maybe a lot of times people have a hard time apologizing because they think they're going to get shot. Remember? Come as you are. I don't have a gun. <laughs> right? 
I mean, if somebody were to approach me, let me ask you guys. I want to ask you honestly, and I don't want you to kiss my ass. I want you to honestly answer me. If somebody came to me and they had fucked me over big time and they came to apologize, how do you think I would handle it? Would you be afraid to come to me if you'd fucked me over and you, and you wanted to apologize? Would you be afraid to come to me? That's a question. I've already done Virgo women. You can rewind and listen to it. We'll be doing them again with all the messages. Um, water signs. Male water signs. Big happy changes are coming into your life. Booyah! Male water signs. Oh, you get a time frame. Ooh, something is over. An ending and a new beginning. Ten is completion. You wouldn't be afraid? You shouldn't be afraid because I'm actually very afraid. You would be afraid, Tracy? Oh, wow. I'm a dragon, but I'm a water dragon. I'm an Aries water dragon. I'm the softest dragon there is. I'm like Puff the Magic Dragon, which means I'm all bark and very little bite. However, if you hurt somebody that I love or an animal, I'm insane. But I don't hold grudges. I never, I, I forgive easily if someone is actually sincere. So 10 is telling you that something has ended and something is beginning. It's also telling you it could be the 10th month. 10 days, 10 hours, 10 weeks, the 10th of the month. All right. Cur song playing right now. I found you on the ground, on your knees, and I lifted you up, and you took advantage of me. And I found out you were talking shit behind my back. You didn't even come to me and apologize. I had to find out, find out through someone else. That's not a cool way to be. You want to be the one that's assertive. So female uh, water signs. You're ready. <laughs> We're always ready. Female water signs, say it like it is. <laughs> okay. Um, air signs. Male air signs. I do. That's exactly right. Sandy says, Sandy said, and that's the truth for me. She knows me well enough to know that I would respect the person for coming in and speaking their truth. I respect that because I know how hard that is to do. And uh, I just spoke this morning to my old old neighbor and uh, she was my roommate and we had a, it was a bad ending. And she tried for a while to come and I wasn't ready. I was just like, no, I didn't, I wasn't nasty, but I just, I just didn't speak. And then she came and, and uh, we both started crying. <laughs> it was over. I don't want to have a problem with anybody. Okay, where are we at? We're at air signs, right? Male air signs need to say, forgive me. <laughs> Speaking of the devil, right? And success is assured. Check it out, see? Female air signs. Be assertive. Female air signs. And follow your passion, which is what this whole message is about. Okay, so that's the first message. Okay, here I gotta turn this down. People are talking to me. Okay, um, so I started with earth signs, right? This is going to take bloody forever. I can't believe I did this. Direct neutrality on all levels. Did I only do earth signs? Oh my God. Water signs. Water signs. This is going to take way too long. I wonder if I can switch this in between. I could switch. Um... Because I'm going to have to go through every sign and then go through every item and then every card. I think I have to switch. You guys have all gotten a message, so I think I'm going to switch. I'm not going to do that. I can't do that. It's going to take me forever. So that was just a bonus for everybody. We're going to go to the next message and the next item. The next item is going to be... Um, I said earth signs, but that's just going to be for everyone. Sorry. I have done water. I'm not doing water only. I'm doing something different. Otherwise, it's going to take me too freaking long. It'll take me four hours. This is what I did the other day when I confused myself. I, I, I got too many because I would have to go through every sign, male, female. I guess I could. Do you guys want me to do it? I can switch. Okay, switch. Yeah, it's way too much. Okay, so I'm going to go to... So we did rutilated quartz. Song right now, this woman is my destiny. We're going to go to the blue calcite, okay? For those who chose the blue calcite, and if you guys need a reminder of what we're, what we're looking at, 
this is blue calcite no I'm not doing all the elements I decided not to I decided you just all got a message so that was just it um, we did they had we already did related quartz we've got the clear quartz cluster which is the frog or the penis or whatever you want it to be we've got the bloodstone and now the blue calcite so we're doing blue calcite right now related quartz is done it's way too much work for me to do the other way <laughs> correct for neutrality yeah it was too much I did I, I, I did I was gonna do a card for each and then a message for each and then I thought God I'll be doing this for the rest of my life Melissa look what I'm wearing good I'm wearing remember I said I don't have a gun come as you are I don't have a gun here's the bullet right here <laughs> it's literally a bullet it's got turquoise coming out of it I think that's funny okay for those who chose the blue calcite and I did Ooh, that was a clear-cut one Wow restore and replenish replenish well this is definitely needed for all of us right now we're all feeling this energy so that's the message it's time to go in this is not like uh, like an it, it, this isn't like advice like this would be a good idea for you spirit is saying this is absolutely vital at this time to literally you have gone through something and, and it may be, be that we're going through this ascension that's just kicking our ass it may be that we've been like I have been in a situation for the last five years that's been brutal and it's kicked my ass and it, you may be even in something like that you may have had a health issue and it's kicked your ass whatever it is right now is the need to replenish this is about a change this is about this is when we quit jobs this is when we move this is when we break up with people this is when we get divorced this is when we finally realize that our own personal sanity mental health emotional health and spiritual health is the most important thing whatever we need to do at this moment in order to make this better for us we have to change something they're talking about a new routine um, I started working out again yesterday in the gym or was it yesterday I started doing my squats the other day but I started last night in the gym again with the with the weights and the machines hi my mind's too busy sorry about that um, so right now spirit says we could we could set this off this we could help this by going to somewhere different different than we normally go to because it's we're gonna be seeing different things we're gonna be experiencing different feelings we need to do something different something different than we have done before if we normally turn left we're supposed to turn right if we normally speak we're supposed to be quiet if we normally don't speak we're supposed to share we're supposed to change something and when we do that we shift the energy and we get things moving in a different direction this is also a message coming from a guardian whether that be in spirit or our father himself that is telling you right now you're pushing yourself too far you've been pushing yourself beyond what I have asked you to do I have not asked you to do this you've taken this upon yourself and it needs to stop that's a message right now you feel that you need to accomplish something but you're burning the candles at both ends thinking that you need to be Wonder Woman Wonder Man you think you need to be the only caregiver you're martyring yourself and I have not asked you to do this says our father so if you allow yourself to have this break you will soon you will very quickly it, you'll see a change happen very quickly it's like if you start doing your squats today and working on the machine today you'll notice a change very quickly once you start doing it muscle memory right well your body also knows about that too so restoration it doesn't have to be a long involved process it just needs to be done something needs to be done so if you've been considering doing something this is the this is the message yes do it it's kind of like the first message we got you're being encouraged to trust yourself and know that you are listening to your highest self and you're consciously doing what you need to do I don't know why it's not skipping on my end um so so I'm not doing it by myself Holly I do I'm channeling so spirit takes over that's why I had to stop that I started to confuse myself I have to just do and spirit just kind of lets it go through me otherwise I would probably lose my mind I've got too many things to think about so if you've been under the weather like if, you, if you've been ill I said that if you've been sick if you've, you've been dealing with something this is a message that you will soon be well you are soon going to be well your energy is shifting in a positive direction so this is really wonderful a lot of us as I said have been feeling the ascension process which is headaches sharp pain stomach aches nausea not sleeping at night we're going through a shift now we're going into mercury retrograde so beware of that on the fifth right and we're in the shadow period right now so that also has something to do with what we're doing 
So if you're if you're going to experience the full benefit of this, then you need to you need to really commit to it. Is what spirit is telling you. Song right now. I may be crazy. I may be crazy. Follow my lead. So a club isn't a place I go to find a girl, so I go to the bar. Come up to me and we can talk. So I met my twin both times, I'm telling you. Last night I was in your dreams, and now you, my bed sheets smell like you. <laughs> yep. Last night I was in your room, bed sheets smell like you. I was there. Okay, and you were here. So correct for neutrality, we're going to ask for... I guess we'll just get a message for everybody instead of doing the message for like earth, air, water, fire. So the first card that we got, we're just going to have taken it for everybody, right? So this is for everybody too. So what is the confirmation card or the bonus? This would be a guidance card. <sighs> Correct for neutrality on all levels. Correct for neutrality on all levels. It's important to get out into nature. That's why I'm not moving that plant. It's important to get out into nature. It's healing. That's what it's going to bring about new growth, new beginnings, fresh health, fresh perspectives. Okay, correct for neutrality. For those who chose the blue calcite, and I did. God, oh, I love this because this is one of the messages that I asked for. Remember last night when I was awake for hours? I was asking for psychic protection around my twin soul, around my, my, uh, my daughter, my son, my grandson, and myself around my entire house and my car, my whole being. But I asked for psychic protection. And this is telling you that literally, really, in all reality, what you believe is what you create. Nothing can hurt you unless you say it can. So I'm not, I wasn't feeling in fear for myself. I was feeling in fear for my twin. I was. Because I was seeing something. And But like, remember we got yesterday, things aren't necessarily what they seem. So if we give power to the fear, then we, can, we, we grow that situation. Now I... I I can affect that situation with other people as well because if I see them in a place where they're not well, they're not doing well, their energy dips because my energy affects the situation. If I see them in a space of being strong and powerful and connected to their highest self, then their vibration lifts. That's how we can help affect change in somebody else. So this is a nice confirmation. Because, but you know, in the middle of the night, in the middle of the night, you, you worry about people, right? When you see shit. Especially when you have the dreams that I have. I mean, they're extremely lucid. So, um, this is telling you not to worry. Don't worry about it. Everything's happening the way it's meant to happen. Don't give it. Don't give it in the power. And even if there is a situation that's difficult, don't give it the power. Don't let them have that. You fight that. You say, fuck you. I'm not giving you my power. I'm not going to let you take this. Song right now, happiness hit her like a bullet in the back. <laughs> I don't have a gun. How about that? That's funny. Funny that the guns keep coming up. That's interesting. So, how else can we speak about this? Coming straight towards her. Stuck still. No holding back. So, something awesome is on its way. That was another thing I was saying last night. Something wonderful is happening. Something wonderful is about to happen. I don't know what it is, but I feel it. And it's coming. And I open my arms and I say, I deserve it. And I'm ready for it. Bring it. So... You don't need to protect yourself from others as much as you need to protect yourself from your own negative thinking is basically the message, right? So dissolve the fears by affirming to yourself that you are surrounded in protective light and protective energy. You've got a, a, a massive myriad of angels always at your side. You've got a soul family that you can tap into. We have the United Collective. We're all one. So I am safe. We just say, I am safe. I am safe. I am always protected. I am forever protected within my father's eyes, right? The only way that I'm going to feel fear is if I give them my power. Okay. Dog days are over. The dog days are done. The horses are coming, so you better run. The horse is a spirit. The horse is, is assistance. So that's the message. Okay. Earth signs. Male earth signs. Correct for neutrality on all levels. Male earth signs. Your message. You make the move. You're safe. Make the move. Also, okay, so you're safe, but you're also being told that it's very vital that you take time to replenish yourself, right? So maybe you need to move somewhere. Seriously, like I am. I'm moving to a place of peace, right? So you make the move in, in whatever direction it's going to take in order to bring that about. 
Don't allow kindness to be seen as weakness, male earth signs, in yourself or others. Correct for neutrality on all levels, female earth signs. Actually, we'll, we'll break it back down. We'll break that back down. Um, where, who did we start with? We started with Virgo, right? So they're going to get a double hitter. Virgo men, choose a different path. You're safe, but maybe you're not where you're at. So choose a different path in a place where you can be in peace. Virgo men, big happy change is coming. Virgo women, communicate clearly. Virgo women, nothing can stop you now. Didn't you get that already? That's interesting. Um, Taurus men, correct for neutrality on all levels. Taurus men, months. Something in regards to this message is, is months, but you make the move. Hmm. Taurus females. Celebrate life. You're doing great. And something flew out. What is this? You are a beautiful soul. So maybe you need to tell yourself that. Maybe you've been going through, maybe somebody's been very toxic around you and you need to hear that. That you're a beautiful soul and you deserve the best and you deserve self-care and self-love. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Did I, okay, Capricorn, right? Did I do Capricorn men? I did Virgo. I did Taurus. Did I do Capricorn Somebody help me. Did I do Capricorn men? Capricorn signs all together. Correct for neutrality on all levels. If anybody's listening. Okay, thank you. Correct for neutrality on all levels. Capricorn men. Don't allow kindness to be seen as weakness. I thought I just said that. That's interesting. Okay, Capricorn men. Four. Four is happy home, harmony, fulfillment, marriage, engagement, um, health. Uh, good business. It, this is successful, help, happy, stability. Four, the number four is also don't be afraid. Remember? Don't be afraid because you have angels all around you. You're completely guided, protected, and loved. Capricorn females. Passion. Follow your passion. Or someone feels passion. Ooh, friends with possibly more. I would say it's someone. <laughs> okay. Um, fire signs. Male fire signs. Male fire signs. Because, whoa, two came out. Actually, this is really bizarre. Because I think male fire signs already got this. But I just shuffled everything away. The first two that came out were be assertive and success is assured. But look, forgive me. I swear to God they got these same three. Somebody tell me. I swear that male, male fire signs got this. This is a trip to me. Wow. Okay, so let's specify. Let's go down and specify. Sorry, I was supposed to, to do it specifically. I keep messing that up. Um, so, um, Aries, males, forgive me. Okay, <laughs> that three times an Aries, is, Aries male has been told to say sorry or ask forgiveness three times. When you see something three times and you don't do it, you might as well just stop listening to spirit altogether. Correct for neutrality. Follow your dreams. Female Aries, female Aries, your life is coming together now. Yeah, it is. Booyah. Financial issues. So what happens when you have financial issues? There's nothing to be afraid of. Spirit's got it handled, right? I'm, I'm protected. I'm good. I'm going to rest and realize that when I finished replenishing myself, my phone will start ringing off the hook, right? I felt like I needed to connect with soul family. It was, it was to me, like I said, it's a shot in the arm. And I'm not working while I'm doing this. So, hey, anybody wants a private reading, dream analysis, anything else? My website is www.theangelswhisper.com. My email address is sherrycolumbus at yahoo.com. And if you're new to my, I'm going to put this on YouTube. So if you're new to my channel, welcome. Please click like, subscribe, and share this video so more, the most people can get it as possible. If you'd like to make a donation to my work, I would appreciate that too. There's a donate button on my webpage and on my YouTube channel. Um, maybe you've taken my shit for the last time, somebody is saying. Maybe I know that I'm drunk. Maybe I know you're the one. Maybe I think it's better if you drive. Remember what driving means? It means that if you're, if you're in a partnership and you're a wolf pack, there's an alpha male and there's an alpha female. Sometimes the alpha male drives, sometimes the alpha female drives. Doesn't mean that one's in control over the other, it just means they're a team. And that's the 
best partnerships in the world are a team. And he's saying, you know what? Maybe I know that I'm drunk. Maybe I know you're the one. So if you're drunk, you're not thinking straight, right? You're not with your faculties. Maybe you should drive. Maybe you're thinking a little straighter than I am right now, so I'm going to let you take the lead. That's a smart man. Correct for neutrality, because clearly he's talking to an alpha female, right? Correct for neutrality on all levels. One more for female fire signs, right? Be assertive. Ha! Alpha female. Okay. Um, Leo. Leo. It helps for me to do it live when I do this many because um, Virgo got the message, don't allow kind of seen as weakness as well as Capricorn. Okay. Um, when I do this many, I, I get, can get confused so you guys can help me. It, it helps me a lot. So Leo's passion. Follow your passion. What is your passion? Do you have passion? Take action on your passion. Leo females. You need to reconsider something. Wow, message for me right now. We'll do it all. Everything. Okay, Leo females, we'll do it all, everything all our, on our own. This is a really special song for me. Leo females were supposed to reconsider something, and something is not likely at this time. So what you were thinking, not. Nah, something else. This song is, I don't know how to say those two words, or those three words, but if you lay here with me, can we watch, what is it, Chasing Cars, Snow Patrol. Um, if I lay here, will you lay with me? So somebody wants to express themselves and is shy in order to do it. So they ask Spirit, Archangel Michael, to give them a shot in the arm, or maybe a shot in their ass to get them moving. Um, Leo, Sagittarius males. Sagittarius males. Uncle Phil, we'd like you to wait on something. Sagittarius males, fear of commitment. So we would like you to make, wait on something. And it might be sometimes if you are, have a project or something that you want to do, like my Uncle Phil is thinking about selling his house and moving, right? But if he has a fear of doing that and it's an overwhelming fear of commitment, maybe he's not ready. So they want you to wait. Now, sometimes we have an overwhelming fear and spirit tells us to do it. But right now, Sagittarius males are being told, fear of commitment, either you or someone else, and we'd like you to wait. Correct for neutrality on all levels. Um, Sagittarius females. You make the move. Sagittarius females. Open your mind to new ideas. Water signs, yeah? Water signs. Correct for neutrality on all levels. Water signs. Um, male water signs. So, Pisces. Just dating for now. We get this every single time, so it's really, really clear that Pisces men just want to date for now, or the person that you're interested in just wants to date. I would think that the reason is they want to see if, if someone's walking their walk and talking their talk, if it's the real deal. Correct for neutrality on all levels. Male water signs. Shyness is a factor. We get that every time, too. Female Pisces. That was Pisces, sorry. Male Pisces. Female Pisces. Commitment. How funny. So the males are only want to date, and this is a commitment. So the commitment can apply to many different things, right? How committed are you to your path? Um, are you considering a commitment to something? A commitment is um, pending at this time. Um... It, if somebody just wants to date, that doesn't mean they're not commit, committing. They're committing to dating because they're getting to know each other, right? Just like this song. I'm, I, I'm afraid, I don't know how to say those three words. This person needs to date this person. This person needs to get comfortable to the place where they feel like they're in a commitment. You can't just jump into that. So the Pisces women want a commitment. That's their intention. So, if, so that would be a message. If your intention is just to date people, I will tell you as a Pisces woman, and I am mostly Pisces, I'm not interested. I'm not interested in, in somebody who's serial dating. I'm looking for a commitment. So, you know, you put your intention out there, I put mine in there, and if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. Because I'm not interested in somebody who's dating other people. I don't do that. Okay? So, Pisces women, forgive me. Somebody asks for, for forgiveness or you are asking for forgiveness. Scorpio. Scorpio men. Correct for neutrality on all levels. Choose a different path. 
10. You're choosing a different path because it's the end. It's completion, it's over, or and then there will be a new beginning. The 10th month, the 10, 10 days, 10 weeks, the 10th of the month, 10 hours, 10 minutes. Scorpio women, we would like you to wait on something. Correct for neutrality on all levels, Scorpio women. You have a magical touch. Cancer, cancer men. Song right now, sometimes things take way too much of my energy. Somebody's overwhelmed. Correct for neutrality on all. So they need to give themselves a, a place of replenishment. That's what this whole message is about. They need to replenish. People tell me to medicate. No, what you need to do is get out into nature and get away from the medication. Those And, and from the people that are telling you, you need to medicate. Scorpio, what was I on? Cancer men. Cancer men, not likely at this time. Focus on your vision. Cancer women, we would like you to wait. Weeks. Okay, well, you got to wait weeks. All right. So that's all of them, yeah? So now we go to... How weird. I just heard the yoga frog. So now he's a yoga frog. So remember yesterday we had... Well, I don't know. Maybe it was the reading that I didn't publish. I can't remember. There was a yoga frog and I had the prince. And they were the same person. One was a Zen master in, in a wonderful place. The other one was was timid and and he was the prince that in hiding. That's why I called him the prince in hiding. So this is the yoga frog. So this one's got a little bit more balance going on. Okay, so for those who chose the clear quartz crystal, correct for neutrality on all levels. What is the message for those who chose the clear quartz crystal? Correct for neutrality on all levels. For those who chose the clear quartz, I mean, yeah, the clear quartz crystal. One more. Just keep breathing. That's what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to breathe. Somebody tells you to medicate? No, nope. get outside and breathe. Breathe deeply. Deep. Stay away from the drugs. I heard last night in my dream that was one of the audio messages I got. Mind alt mood altering drugs. That's what I heard in my head. Mood altering drugs. And here's the message. People tell me to medicate. Don't. Because you're not going to hear your higher self. And you're doing it in order to stop yourself from moving forward. That, that is a cop out. That is fear preventing you from moving forward. If you are medicating and using mood altering drugs, which is what I heard that you were doing in my dreams last night, or someone is giving you, people are telling you to do it, spirit says wrong. You need to get out into nature. You need to breathe. No drugs. Okay, for those who chose the clear quartz crystal, Pandora's gift. Ooh, okay, the first thing I notice <clears throat> is that this person has taken this mask off, right? This person is 45 years old. They could be. That's the number, 45. Oh, my twin turned 45 yesterday, took his mask off. Be nice to know that. So right here, Clearly Pandora's box is like a gift. It's something exciting that opens up, right? And see that gift? I'm getting if you take your mask off, there will be a gift for you that's amazing. This right now is a yearning to conquer something. You're trying to conquer something. You're trying to get over, you know, take, take a hold of something. Maybe that, that, that song, people tell me to medicate, right? Maybe you're trying to conquer something in that, in your, in your physicality. This is your soul that's asking you to do something. And it's making you feel uncomfortable. It's not going to be comfortable. She invites you to go beyond your judgment. You're judging you or yourself or maybe others are judging you or your belief about what others are saying or, or even that it matters. And if there's any misplaced guilt or that, that, that you have upon, been put upon yourself or someone else has, it needs to be surrendered at this time. Um, it's also a message that if you are beating yourself up thinking that you have done something unspeakable where someone cannot recover, the message literally is in here, that's not the truth. You are, you, you are you're shaming yourself way beyond what you're supposed to is, is literally the message. So if this hits home for you, I feel like what I've done is, is irre irreproachable. It's something I cannot come back from. I cannot forgive myself from it. That's the problem. That's the, that's the mask you need to take off because that's not the truth. And the gift is that you're already forgiven. You have to forgive yourself. 
That is a specific message. Now, there are people out there that have done really horrible, shitty things, and they haven't compensated, and they haven't asked for forgiveness. They haven't changed their ways. We're not talking to those people. We're talking to somebody who is shaming themselves. They're self-punishing. They feel that they're, they need to be punished because of what they've done to someone else. And there's no shame in understanding that this is a learning process for you. The shame is for you to believe that. No shame in this is just something that you had to learn. This, this something that happened was lessons that had to happen, whether they were painful or not. So this is a time where spirit wants you to take off the mask that you're hiding behind because you feel so bad and recognize that I'm a divine being and I deserve forgiveness. And when you recognize that, the gift it then presents itself. So there's a rebellion happening inside of your soul right now. Your soul is trying to argue with your ego mind and get your ego mind to realize that you were conditioned to believe such things of yourself. And that was false conditioning and you need to let it go. You need to let it go. You need to liberate yourself. It's also telling you that you are breaking free from possibly very critical judgmental people in your environment and maybe rules that were put upon you that people would say to you how dare you disobey or break this rule or this is tradition or this is how it's done or if you want to be in our family or belong to this or with us this is what must be done that what you don't seem to understand is them trying to control you that is that is unspeakable action that is unfair that is unjust so right now, this is about shrugging off the misery, the despair, the self-judgment, the shame, the bitterness that you've been holding inside. And see that inside, this is a woman standing here. The sacred goddess within you wants you to love yourself. The sacred goddess wants you to forgive yourself and understand that you are worthy. You are worthy if you choose to live a different life. It's not that, you know, those people that say they're sorry all the time, you know, you know it doesn't mean anything falls on deaf ears when you say you're sorry because you you uh, sorry is changed action don't tell me you're sorry just start living your life in a different way so if you're gonna move forward and take your mask off and be your authentic truthful self and live your life differently you are able to forgive yourself and others are as well and then you are able to grow from the experiences that you learn and you can help other people this is a very big grounding energy right now it's something that needs to be developed so anybody in your family environment group that is talking down to you trying to control you sending out narciss it's it's narcissistic energy it's not cool no one you know god says don't judge unless you be judged don't you judge somebody else you you have the right to walk away and not want to be around anybody but don't judge them because we have all fucked up in our life right so that's the message for here all right Mama said, it's a little complicated. Don't give up. All tied up. No more love. I hate to see you waiting. So you're all tied up. No love. But you're waiting. Why? Because you feel bad. So shoot for the stars. Shoot for the stars. Have high hopes. I love this song. Go out, manifest destiny, create a legacy, rewrite your history. This is now your beginning because when you realize that you're free to be whoever you want to be, every day we get to start over again, that's when you have taken off this mask and Pandora's gift is exposed and now you realize, wow, this is for me. Now, the number 45 could be the age of you or four is angels are all around you guiding, protecting, and loving you. Um, especially if those are pe you have people praying for you for protection around you. And five... A significant change is occurring. The reason is because five represents disagreements, fights, arguments, clashes of beliefs, people not getting along. And because of that, a change needs to occur. And that's what's happening in this message. A change needs to occur because the people that are around you are shit. They are not working for your highest good. So a significant change is occurring and it's always for the better, even if it does feel scary to take off your mask. It's going to be beautiful. What, what comes of it is going to be beautiful. Again, four and five together are nine, which means you have everything you need to start moving forward on your spiritually illuminated path. Stop procrastinating. Correct for neutrality on all levels. You just lit a candle for everyone? Right on. Right on. That's nice. I accept that. Thank you. Correct for neutrality for everybody. The message. 
This has come up several times. And now we were speaking about creativity earlier. This is the goddess of the earth. First message that I get is the importance of getting out into nature and getting grounded. But what they're showing, and, and how you're part of this tree. Now, whether this is a family tree, whether this is the soul family tree, or whether this is just part of the universe, we are all connected is what it's showing us. And they're telling you that there's an idea that's going to come to you. Something new is going to burst into life. A creative idea. Song right now. I push it down. I'm hanging up by a chandelier. Party girls, they don't get hurt, right? This is somebody who's trying to fill that void. When the phone rings, my phone, I'm the one. Call me. Call me to come out because it keeps me occupied so I don't think about what I really need to look at is that I'm not happy where I am, that, I, that I'm not living the life that I need to live. This person is, and then they feel shame afterwards. Oh, the shame, the walk of shame, right? Stop the cycle. The message is stop the cycle. Okay, so there's an idea that's coming connected to creativity, connected to nature. Somehow, it's going to, be, it's going to have strong roots. It's within you. Whatever this idea is, it's, a, a, it's, it's going to be strong. It could be you working with the land, something of the land. But it's, again, second message about us creating and using our creative energy to express ourselves. Sometimes, for some people, they aren't very good with words, right? And so if you were a, a, a singer, a guitar player, songwriter, you can express yourself through music. Right? So this is a way your body wants to express something. This is connected to your imagination. It's connected to creativity. It's connected to nature. It's coming for you. So relax in nature. Spend some time just... And you'll get your ideas in many different ways. I mean, you could paint something, right? You could be looking at the birds. I was looking at Sedona pictures today and looking at a guy who had a paint easel set up on the, on the trails, right? It could be hiking. It could be, you know, doing like what I'm doing when I'm in Sedona, you know, retreats, walking on the land with people and whatever it is. I don't know. It's coming. So that's the message that's coming. So this, maybe this is going to happen when you release yourself from the shame. Remember, this is shame. And that's what this song is. Oh, the shame, the shame. We'll stop doing the same thing again and again. And, you'll, and you won't be feeling shame. Okay, so we're going to go with earth signs. Male earth signs, we're just going to start straight with Capricorn. Capricorn, perfect timing in order for this to occur. Capricorn, you're going to have a peaceful resolution, males. Female Capricorns, in regards to this, one, which means focus on number one. Don't worry about what everybody else thinks. Focus on you. It's also a new beginning. It's also keep your thoughts positive. It's also one day, one hour, one week, one month, the first of the month, which is coming soon, one. Capricorn women, peaceful resolution. So in regards to this situation, whatever this is, um, Taurus men, go for the best. Taurus men, you have grown a lot. Taurus women, there's a need for compromise, and you've got days in order to do something or something is happening in a matter of days, so get ready to compromise. Um, Virgo men, correct for neutrality on all levels, Virgo men, too soon to tell, peaceful resolution. Okay, so one thing is too soon to tell, for another thing, it's a peaceful resolution. Correct for neutrality on all levels. Um, Virgo women. Take time to feel the love that surrounds you. Friends with possibly more. First things first, I'm going to say all the words that are inside my head. Don't you tell me who I can be. I'm the master of my sea. That's somebody who's taking off their mask and saying, I'm not going to listen to what you guys have to say because I've decided this is what I want. This is what's in my highest good and you're not going to tell me how to live my life. I'm the master of my sea. I'm tired of the way things have been and I'm changing it. You go. Correct for neutrality on all levels. So, fire signs. Correct for neutrality on all levels. Fire signs. Um, Aries, men. Somebody wants to take it to the next level. In a matter of days. <laughs> Aries women. Too soon to tell. It will require time and effort to bring it about. Maybe this creative idea that you have, right? It's going to require time and effort to bring it about. And it's too soon to tell. 
Um, Leo. Leo men. Leo men. Somebody's putting on a front. It's really a weak thing to do. You know? Just be your freaking self. Correct for neutrality. Leo men, you need to reconsider something. Maybe you need to reconsider putting on a front. Or maybe because somebody's putting on a front, you need to reconsider having anything to do with them. Correct for neutrality on all levels. Leo women. Without a doubt, there's no need for worry in regards to this creative idea or, or coming out and being your own truthful self. Um, Leo, Sagittarius, yeah? Sagittarius males, too soon to tell. Wow, that got shuffled away. Too soon to tell. Sagittarius men, without a doubt. Sagittarius females, I'm asking to be guided to the right messages. Okay, that one flipped out, so I like it when that happens. Forgive yourself and forgiveness of others will follow. Right now, right? You're beating yourself up. Right now, you're feeling, you're, you're, you're judging yourself, and you need to forgive yourself. That's the main message. So this is double confirmation for Sagittarius females. You need to knock it off. Forgive yourself. We all make mistakes. And check it out. Big happy changes are coming. How wonderful is that? Okay. Water signs. Correct for neutrality on all levels. Male water signs. It's time to let it go. And now is the time to focus on you. Male, female water signs. There's an, an opportunity coming. And you need to get more information about it. Right on. I was talking about something this morning with my girlfriend. I set, I set a rocket of desire and I set some uh, intentions out to the universe. I set, um, I said what I needed. You guys saw what I asked for, for Liger, right? It's important to me. He's my child. It's important that he has a window or a safe place that he can enjoy the outside air. I need something like that. And I said, the universe, we need to figure something out. Do it. And they said, there's an opportunity coming. So that works for me. Correct for neutrality. Um, air signs, yeah? Male air signs. In regards to the situation, work-related concerns. Oh, sorry. Who is that? Gemini? Gemini has work-related concerns. Male Gemini. But success is assured. Right on. So are you beating yourself up about something that happened at work? Are you feeling judged? Or has somebody judged you? Have you gotten fired from a job because you did something really shitty? Maybe you got fired. You know what? Just because... We forgive ourselves and we are forgiven doesn't mean we're not going to get fired from a job. Doesn't mean we're not going to suffer the consequences of our actions. If you did something shitty, you get the consequences of your actions. But you can forgive yourself so that you can move forward in a different direction, right? I'm not saying that this is a case. This is just something that came up. So work-related concerns and success is assured. So maybe you got fired from a job because you were meant to do something different. Correct for neutrality. Female Geminis. Perfect timing. Song right now, I get a good feeling. I get a good feeling. And that came up for them both. Female Geminis, go for the best. Why not? Uh, what are air signs? Aquarius. Did I do Aquarius last time? It's been a while since I heard Aquarius. Okay, Aquarius men. Yeah, I did. Okay, Aquarius men. Something is not likely at this time. I swear to God, Aquarius men got that before. Something not likely at this time. I swear they did. I'm going to look back and see if that's the truth. Three, full circle completion. It also could represent a third party interference. It could represent three days, three hours, three months, three weeks, the third of the month, the third week. Um, full circle completion and an ascended master working with you. So I'll leave it at that. I was going to say something else, but I won't. Too aggressive, slow down. That's funny because I was going to say something and I didn't. <laughs> Oh, I gave you three, didn't I? Oh, well. Okay. Uh, Aquarius females. Melissa, this is for you. You're the only Aquarius female I know. Correct for neutrality. Here's yours. You are only responsible for your happiness. Okay? So this message is about feeling guilty or feeling bad. Maybe somebody's trying to make another person feel guilty. But we're only responsible for our own happiness. Everyone else is responsible for theirs. Correct for neutrality on all levels. Female Aquarius. Perfect timing. 
Um, Libra? Libra. Correct for neutrality on all levels. Libra men. Three. Full circle completion. Third party situation. Three months, three hours, three days, three weeks. The third of the month, the third week. Ascended Masters working with you. Friends with possibly more. Libra females. Sometimes I get a good feeling. <laughs> because someone wants to take it to the next level. <laughs> Libra females. Follow your dreams. So if you want to take something to the next level, follow your dreams. Right? We've got an idea built around creativity that's coming your way. So go for it. Okay. So is that everybody? Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. Yes, that's everybody. Okay, so now we go to... We go to... We did Blue Calcite. We did the Frog. I can't even remember the items. Did we do Bloodstone yet? Did we do Bloodstone? Yes, I am. Are we doing, did, I, did we do bloodstone? <laughs> Somebody help me out here. Correct for neutrality. The frog. The related quartz we did, okay. Related quartz, clear quartz, blue quartz. So bloodstone, that's the last one, okay. Correct for neutrality. Song right now, say hello to your new lover. Gotta let go of all of our ghosts. If you're ready, I'm ready. We're not kids anymore. I'm giving you up. Somebody's either giving up or saying, you better get it together because we're growing old. <laughs> um, hold on, I gotta put some chapstick on. This is, um, this is my speed. This is, this is the kind of makeup I wear. This is Burt's Bees Lip Shimmer. And it's, it gives a little bit of color and it's got a tingle in it, I like it. I've always been like a lip gloss girl. Okay, correct for neutrality. Bloodstone, for those who chose the bloodstone. And I did. Correct for neutrality on all levels. For those who chose the bloodstone, I was too strong. I was running. You were falling. You couldn't handle the hot heat running. Hot heat boiling. Baby, I'm still rising. I was running. You were falling. Couldn't keep up. You were falling down. There's only one way down. I'm giving you up. I'm setting you free. And you set me free. Say hello to your new lover. Peace out. Correct for neutrality on all levels. For those who chose the bloodstone. Gotta let go of all of your ghosts. So this is another message for the last uh, card. Gotta let go of all your ghosts. So something happened between these two people and the one person is so hung up on it, can't forgive themselves, can't move forward. He wasn't able to keep up to her. They were on a vibrational frequency that was just off kilter a little bit. She was running. He was walking. He fell. And he's holding on to ghosts. He won't let go of the ghosts. And so she's like, you know what? Go. Say hello to your new lover because I got to keep moving. Unless you're ready because I'm ready. I guess it's choice time. That's why I felt that energy. It's choice time. Correct for neutrality on all levels. For those who chose the bloodstone. Big, bold vision. I've never seen this card before. I like it. Big, bold vision. So the first thing I noticed was the B, right in the middle of her third eye. The number 15, the number one, keep your thoughts positive. Five, every, a significant change is occurring because it needs to. And then six, spirit's working with you. Keep focused on spirit. And the B means get busy and get after the honey. It also means sweet victory. It's also a team effort. with So a team effort with us in spirit. So we have to have... And then look at the scarab, the sacred scarab, right at the throat chakra. And the scarab is about protection. Psychic protection, that's what the scarab talks about. It talks about you knowing how to protect yourself. Knowing how to protect... Remember yesterday we got that we, we have our gifts opening up to us and we have sacred knowledge and there are certain people that we are not to share that with. 
And if we're in a toxic situation and we need to get out of a toxic situation, we, are, we need to not share that information. There are times that we need to not speak. This is protection on your throat chakra. So this is about protecting the words that you choose to share with people. It's about being protected as you speak your truth. Um, because you're being clearly being told to get busy and get after the honey. So you're being told to speak your truth and you'll be protected as you do. Even her eyes, they've got the third eye drawn on her eyes. So this is very, very much tapping into the spirit world. One and five being six. So you weren't born to be insignificant. You weren't born to be ignored, to stay locked up in a house and nobody hear your ideas, your thoughts, your words, your intentions, your ideas, your dreams. You were born to be big and bold. You were born to live your dreams and bring your dreams into existence. And right now, Spirit is saying, when you tap into your highest self, your true self, your soul's path, if you're on your soul's path, you don't have fear of other people and what they think. You don't have fear of, of failure. You don't have fear of, of finances, of anything. You don't have fear if you're on your spiritual path because you know that you have an idea. My idea is going to come to light. If it's in my highest good, spirit's going to work with it. If it doesn't, I'll go on to another idea. But I'm protected. I'm safe. I don't feel foolish for speaking of my ideas or wanting to bring something to life that somebody else might find different or odd. I'm focusing on what's busy in my mind. My mind is busy, Holly said. Wow, you've got a very busy mind. I do. I got a lot going on. I got a lot going on. And so in order for somebody to be in my life, they need to, they need to be able to keep up with me, right? I don't want to be with somebody who is about as shallow as a plate. I want to be with somebody who wants to dig deep. I want to be with somebody who knows how to dig down into their soul and isn't afraid to follow their soul's path, right? Because I'm not going to be. Because I trust in spirit. So right now... Spirit says that there's something coming to you. It's coming from here. The B is landed right on your third eye. So a vision, an idea, something. We already thought that, that something was coming, but something is coming and it's going to be successful. There's gold all around. She's wearing gold everywhere. So something might be coming and you may think it's too much for you to deal with, but it's not. Nothing is too much or it wouldn't come to us so whatever this is this idea this vision that comes into play whatever it is that you're seeing in your mind's eye you may have to spirit may tweak it spirit sometimes course corrects us right we we, we set out in a certain direction and spirit says okay well that's great but how about doing it this way so we set our vision and we say that or something better so you may need to tweak something you may need to let go of your fear. You may need to open up your mind to ideas and, th and ways of things being done or coming into existence in a manner that doesn't seem logical, right? Like, well, this is what I've got in front of me. You know, I've only got a matter of days or I've got a matter of weeks and this is uh, the amount of money that I have and, and yet this is what I'm requiring. Spirit has no boundaries. We have, so we are, we, we are supposed to not be held back. Yeah, something is coming. I've been saying that. I've been feeling this. Something is coming. And what is happening is when we start thinking that there is nothing that is impossible. When we get these messages that say fear of commitment or um, not likely at this time, I feel that that's more the person that's feeling that because the message we get from spirit aren't saying that. It's the, it's the finite mind, the ego mind that's saying it's not likely or it's not possible or fear of commitment because spirit's not going to be saying fear of commitment. That's not healthy. If, you, if I was talking to your higher self, you wouldn't be having a fear of commitment at all. So that's not valid. So we have to get beyond what we're seeing inside this box. And we need to realize that everything is possible. Everything and anything is possible. That's why we have to ask for exactly what we want, the biggest, the boldest. Ask for it all. We are not to shrink back. We have access to the spirit realm, which is super fragile, super califragilistic magic, expialidocious, right? So right now, there's something about whatever this vision is, this big, bold vision that you have, if, if it touches the hearts of others, if it's there to help and heal others, it will manifest even quicker. 
you can touch others through your presence, through your work, through your ideas, through your words. You can be effective in a, in a way that can bring a win-win situation to everyone involved. Maybe you want to do something and you're thinking, yeah, but if I, if I get this, then that can't happen for them, right? Well, we're not supposed to worry about that because we're supposed to worry about ourselves, what makes us happy, and make sure that spirit handles that if I do this for myself, it's going to work out well for them as well, right? So you need to be big. You need to be bold. You need to live like a visionary. You need to break the mold of past conditioning. You need to break the mold of, of the 3D world, of the 4D world. And you're being asked to understand that when you see a series of synchronistic events occur, when you keep getting the same messages again and again, your higher self and spirit are trying to talk to you. And you're blocking it out. You wouldn't keep getting those messages. You couldn't keep getting those signs. You wouldn't keep getting that if this wasn't something that was trying to be established, trying to be brought into your life. So it's the beginning of something fantastic. Something freaking amazing is happening, you guys. And I'm up for it. I'm freaking up for it. So next song, say hello to your new lover. If you're not up for it, you're not for me. Because I'm up for the adventure. I'm ready to go. I'm ready. Are you ready? Because I'm ready. If not, say hello to your new lover. That's what that song means to me. Because Spirit is saying right now, this is about trusting your heart, going with the choices that your soul is calling for, and being open to how Spirit brings it about. This is also about people that want to open up their gifts, right? Like what I was doing last night was amazing. It went on for hours. It went on for hours. I had audio messages coming for hours. I went... I asked to be taken somewhere. I went there. I saw the person I asked to see. It was amazing the things that happened for about, I'm, from, I would say from about 11 o'clock until 4 in the morning. It continued. It was amazing. So if you want to open up your spiritual gifts, we, have, we all have access to our spiritual gifts and, and, and the ability to expand. So there might be some twists and turns that we didn't see coming because remember Spirit said that it, it's a great idea, and the plan is wonderful, but we might want to course correct you. You might be thinking too small. Spirit, you might be thinking this, and Spirit goes, yeah, that's great, but you know what? We want to do this. And you're like, what? <laughs> what? But it wouldn't be brought to you if you weren't capable of doing this. So, um... I'm not going to be reading for people who aren't here. I'm just telling you right now. Whoever's on right now and asked for a reading, I'll do a reading. And whoever's not is not getting a reading. It's not fair. So right now, this is about positive energy, trusting that things are going to be coming up in a positive way, even if things look like they're a disaster right now. So it's essential for you to believe in this and trust and have faith that you have the ability for all of this. Release all your blocks right now, Spirit says. Okay. So then the next message final message correct for neutrality on all levels for those who chose the bloodstone speak your truth this is angel of expression speak your truth and express yourself clearly so I would say this is in regards to the universe about what you want in regards to someone else communication is highlighted at this time this one is leaning in, which is another message of the fool. This is a third representation of the fool, which is taking a leap of faith because spirit's giving you wings to fly. This is about opening yourself up. If you are somebody who is holding back your feelings, this is about speaking your truth and trusting that it's going to go the way it's meant to go. Express yourself. At this time, it's very important to express yourself in any way, shape, or form. Don't hold back. Open, exposed, vulnerable naked the truth of who you are at this time because when the truth sp is spoken from a place of honesty and love it can't hurt somebody now it might hurt their feelings but in all reality if you're speaking your truth it, it, it has to be done if it's honest and clear and coming from a place of love it's not going to hurt no matter what they say so you speak your truth honestly openly and, and the angel of expression is basically saying spirit is pushing you towards this and we're going to help you do it. We're going to help you find the words, right, in order for you to express yourself. Because if you can do this, then the situation is going to heal. Don't try to predetermine how things are going to turn out, the outcome. Just this is all you're meant to do is express your truth and trust. 
song right now. I don't want to be with anybody without, I don't want to be a body without your body next to me. So somebody feels this and needs to express that, right? I don't want anybody else but you. You don't have to figure out, doesn't matter what they're going to say or do, you just need to express your truth. And maybe that's a block that you have had to overcome. The fear of speaking your truth. Okay. Male earth signs. We'll start with Capricorn. Capricorn males, be assertive. There you go. Express yourself, right? Love yourself more. You're beautiful. Female Capricorn, fear of commitment, which is not even real. So you need to address that and you need to express yourself because that's false expectations appearing real. And spirit saying, don't expect anything. Just expect your truth. There's work-related concerns, so ask for help. Spirit says there's something amazing brewing. And, and don't, if you've got work-related concerns, financial issues, or work-related as in the people that you're working with, nothing is impossible. Not this, anything can happen. So just put out there. So many times people don't ask for something or they don't think about something because they don't think it's possible. But everything is possible. Correct for neutrality on all levels. Virgo men. A recovery is indicated. Virgo men, there is no need for worry. Virgo women, within this year, allow yourself time to heal. Capric Who did we start with? Did we start with Capricorn? I think we did. Tell me if we started with Capricorn. Maybe we started with Virgo. Capricorn? I'll, I'll go to Taurus. Remind me if I did Capricorn. One, one day, one hour, one week, within this year, think about you, number one. Um first of the month the first what the first week the number one did I do Capricorn did I do Capricorn you guys this is Taurus men Taurus men there's no need to worry correct for neutrality Taurus women financial issues again how interesting so one has work-related concerns one has financial issues so there is nothing that spirit can't fix so ask for what you want ask spirit to fix it what would be your perfect situation if you if you asked correct for neutrality okay thank you um, so then I'm going to go to fire signs, correct for neutrality on all levels. Male fire signs, song right now, I feel like I've been locked out of paradise. Never had much faith in love and miracles. Never wanted to put my heart on the line. Peaceful resolution, Aries men. Aries man, a recovery is indicated. Wow, that's nice. Hey, a peaceful resolution and a recovery is indicated if you speak your truth. That's nice. So be big, be bold, right? Aries women, there's an opportunity coming. I think we keep getting that. Yeah. And we need to reconsider something. Wow, that's exciting. So we got options. <laughs> Leo men, I like having options. Leo men. Somebody wants to take it to the next level. I think Leo men got that before, didn't they? And they need to apologize. So maybe that is taking it to the next level. And this is about angel of expression. So the expression is, you need to apologize. If you want to take it to the next level, you better apologize and think big. Correct for neutrality on all levels. Correct for neutrality on all levels. Um, Leo females. Compromise. It will require time and effort to bring it about. Sagittarius men. A peaceful resolution. You bring me to my knees, you make me testify. You can make a sick man change his ways. Which is what all we're supposed to be doing, right? We're all supposed to be changing our, our, our ways from our ego mind. Sagittarius men. Communicate clearly. Sagittarius women. Sorry if I did them twice. Forgive me. Speak your truth. Right? forgive me. Ask for forgiveness. Whether you think they'll forgive you or not, all you need to do is ask. See, all you need to think about is yourself. Number one, ask. Or maybe you got one day, one week, one month, one, one hour within the, the first of the month, first week of the month, whatever one means to you. But I'm seeing apologize with that. So, um, water signs, correct for neutrality. You make me feel like I've been locked out of paradise, out of heaven, for too long. Somebody's locked out. I saw that in my dream last, or the night before last. They were locked in the backyard. I locked them out. 
Correct for neutrality. Water signs. Men. Financial issues. So think outside of the box, right? Nothing. There is really no problem. Water sign. So who was that? Um, water signs. We start with what? Pisces? Pisces. Pisces. Man, financial issues. Don't allow kindness to be seen as weakness. Correct for neutrality on all levels. Pisces women. Peaceful resolution. Ha <laughs> ha! Yay! I'm liking the cards I'm getting today. Correct for neutrality on all levels. I think it's when we surrender. I mean, I know it is. When we surrender and we just see things going the way they're meant to, and we do, we stay on our path, we walk our walk, we talk our talk, you know, we're, we're honest, we stand in our integrity, we're willing for compromise, we're willing to forgive, we're willing to ask for forgiveness, and we take spirit's lead, everything's going to go well for us. So why wouldn't I be getting great messages, right? Very attracted. It's very attractive to be that, that confident in spirit, I think. I like that. Pisces women, very attracted, right on. Reconsider, again, always, something, I don't know what the hell. Um, water sign, men, Scorpio men, I guess, it's Scorpio men this time. Scorpio men, a recovery is indicated. You are a great listener. Scorpio women, too. Everything's happening the way it's meant to happen with divine blessings for everyone involved. Let go and have faith. Two hours, two weeks, the second of the month, the second week, two months, two people, you and someone else, right? So with a number one, it may be you don't, you don't want a partner. You want to do this on your own. The other one says take someone with you. Um, Scorpio men, Scorpio women. Did I do two for Scorpio women? I think so. Um, cancer, cancer men. Cancer men, be grateful for what you have and more will come. Cancer men, someone is very attracted. Cancer women, it's not likely at this time. Cancer women, peaceful resolution. That's nice. Something's not likely at this time and there's a peaceful resolution. So sometimes not likely at this time is, is there going to be a problem? Not likely at this time. It's going to be a peaceful resolution. Um... Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, uh, Aquarius, men, without a doubt, Aquarius, men, be your own best friend, how can you be someone else's if you're not yours first, Aquarius, women, give yourself more time to enjoy the beauty in your life, and one flipped up for you and it's weak, something happens in weeks, something is happening. So it's weeks for Aquarius women. Um, Gemini men. Gemini men. You deserve the best. Gemini men. Very attracted. Nice. <laughs> Gemini women. You have a big heart. And there will be a peaceful resolution. So focus on that big, great, great big heart. Gemini, Libra, Libra men. We would like you to wait on something. Libra men, there will be a peaceful resolution if you do. So don't push it, right? Libra women, five. A significant change is occurring always for the better, most likely because there's been disturbances, disagreements, arguments, confusion. Um, not getting along and so because of that a change is going to occur. It's necessary. It's for the better. It's going to bring about an opportunity and there's an opportunity coming for this. That was Libra women, right? So we did them all? Aquarius, Libra, Gemini? I think we did them all. Okay. Here we go. There's only seven people on right now, Sandy. Let me look and see who they are because that's the only people that are... Okay, so we've got Tracy, Karen, Ingrid, Gina... Sandy, Christina, Gina, Ingrid, Karen, Tracy. Those are the people. That's it. Okay? So those are the ones that are getting read for and nobody else. That's it. That's it. Okay. Who's first? I'll do Tracy first because, because she's uh, got problems with her computer. Correct neutrality on all levels. I told you the people, Sandy, and I mean it. I, I mean it. Those are the people. Sandy, Christina, 
Gina, Ingrid, Karen, Tracy. That's it. That's it. It's whoever's there. That's it. Christina, Sandy, Gina, Ingrid, Karen, Tracy. I should take a clip of that picture and show you who it is. Okay. Song right now, I've had enough. Blow me one last kiss. Correct for neutrality on all levels. I'm using the Angel Tarot. Correct for neutrality on all levels. The message for... Correct for neutrality on all levels. Correct for neutrality on all levels. Tracy. Tracy. Okay. So it's a life experience. So a significant life event that's going to lead to change. It's a big deal. And it's going to move you in a new direction. Um, whatever it is that's occurring or that is about, has, about, has occurred or is about to occur, it's a life experience that's bringing change. It might be that something is going to be revealed to you. The number is one in six, which is seven. You'll be on the right path, even if it feels tumultuous. But there's something that's going to occur that's going to bring about a change in your life, and it's time to move forward. So it might be suddenly seeing the truth of a situation, liberation from something, um, something that you've known about, that you've been procrastinating about, that you can't ignore anymore, it needs to be taken care of. It's, it's, it's a freedom and awakening at the same time, it, but it's going to bring about a huge change in your life. That's your message. Karen, okay. Sandy, correct for neutrality. Sandy, correct for neutrality on all levels. Sandy, what is your message? Correct for neutrality on all levels. Sandy. Correct for neutrality on all levels. Sandy. Oh, Sandy, the same one. Something's happening, you guys. Something is about to become clear. Clarity is about to take, take place. Some significant life event. Something that's going to change the way things have been going. And it's time to move in a new direction. It's either an epiphany. It's either suddenly, you know, it, it just light, all the lights get turned on in a situation. Or it's something that you have been avoiding doing that you knew that you were supposed to do. Suddenly you see the truth to the situation. It's rapid change. It's inevitable. You can't stop it. Whatever this is, you can't. This is a wake-up call. This is about making changes. A wake-up call. A recent event has brought about the need for a wake-up call to bring changes. It's changed the world. It's mo motivating you forward on an, in a new direction. Correct for neutrality on all levels. Christina is three. Correct for neutrality on all levels. Christina is three. Five of Earth. Fear surrounding money. You know what? I don't know if that was up. I got to do that again. I'm sorry. Because I didn't see if it was upside down or if it was upside right. Okay, it doesn't matter. Spirit says it doesn't matter because I'm reading it upright. How interesting. As I went to shuffle, you kept getting the same messages. It was all about finances. It was all about um, pentacles. So let me look. I'm going to try one more time and see what... That's funny. Every single time, it's all about pentacles for you. Left side. Okay. So, interesting. Now, it shifts. Two of air. So you've at, you're at choice. You're at, a, you're, you're, you're at a stalemate or you're either ignoring something or somebody is or you're arguing with your head and your heart. This is, this is about a choice that needs to be made, a decision that needs to be made. You're struggling with which way you should go. You know what you're supposed to do intuitively. You know the way that you're supposed to choose, but you're not doing it. You're avoiding it. You're avoiding making a choice because either you don't have faith in it, you're afraid of it, um, you're overanalyzing the situation, you're pretending there's no problem, head, head and heart fighting, or you and someone else. So, so basically the message is, you already know what you're supposed to do, so just do it. You, you can't avoid, you already know. Okay, correct for neutrality. Gina. Correct for neutrality on all levels, Gina. So, nine of earth, nine of pentacles, upside down. But I'm not doing them upside down, Spirit said. Okay, so nine of pentacles. So, nine, again, is the ending. Is, it's like you've got everything you need, okay? You've got everything you need. So, even if you felt that you were in a situation where you didn't feel that you had the finances that you needed, 
to move forward or in order to take care of something, in order to do something, Spirit is telling you that that's not the truth because our fear is our own, it, it, it's within us. So nine is you've got everything that you need in order to manifest what you want. What you're lacking is faith. It's about, and if you're not lacking it, it's telling you that at a time that the wisdom that you have and the knowledge that you have gained and, and, and waiting until this time to make your move, it's paid off. Something's coming for everybody right now. It's about spending time in nature. It's about valuing yourself, giving yourself time, not being a workaholic, not stressing so much about the physical world. It's about the fact that you can be successfully self-employed. You can successfully have what it is that you want to have. You're being asked to embrace the universe. You're being asked to embrace God and say, okay, bring it. I deserve it. I want it. I see it. This is what I need. I required three to $500 days. Bring it in. I don't care how you bring it in. I know it's got to happen. It's my grandson's birthday today, and I don't want to worry about buying him a present, right? Whatever it is. This is you having... All of a sudden, a windfall of money, or a job comes in, or a gift comes in. It could be you're moving. It could be you're going on a vacation. Whatever it is, this is about you seeing it and manifesting it. Correct for neutrality on all levels. Who's next? Ingrid, five. Thank you. Correct for neutrality on all levels. You're so on it, Sandy. I love that. Correct for neutrality on all levels. Correct for neutrality on all levels. Sandy. Knight of Cups. So this is uh, an emotional situation. This is about the need to balance your emotions. This is either, that's the first thing I got, the need to balance your emotion, your emotional energy, because right now your, your third eye is opening, your gifts are opening, you're dreaming prophetically, I know what's going on with you right now, and Spirit is literally telling you that you need to balance your emotions at this time. You need to get them under control. Um... When we don't understand something, we need to let it go. When we drive ourselves crazy, you and I both, we both do the same thing. So I know what they're talking about, right? If you don't get it and we try and figure it out, it drives us nuts. So spirit is basically saying right now, you could have very deep emotions that arise from a dream or from a situation in your life. Whatever it is, you might find yourself becoming overwhelmed with a situation. Um, the message is also, you could be receiving invitations, somebody could be getting married, but it, it's all about emo very, very much emotion. And for you, the first thing I got was you need to balance your emotions. So you are a very sensitive person, um, clearly, and that's good. You're super sensitive. You're growing more and more sensitive. So the most important thing is for you to spend some time in sea salt baths to pull away the negative energy, to relax your body so that you can sleep better. Um, if you can ever, I know you've got rivers around you. If you can spend some time near rivers, they want you around water. Um, you want to honor your sensitivity. I know that your family is not awake. Um, so they don't maybe understand what you need, but you know what you need. So it's not about explaining to your family what you need. It's about giving it to yourself. I did yours. I thought Sandy, who was this for? Well, no, this is for you, Sandy. So you got two. Because that card was, was definitely for you. So, Ingrid, correct for neutrality on all levels. Correct for neutrality on all levels. Ingrid. So right now, Ingrid, you're being told not to give up. You've put a lot into something, and you need to protect that. And I say that what you've put a lot into is yourself. You need to protect yourself. You need to have courage and belief in yourself. Spirit's telling you, this is the nine of fire, nine of wands. So nine of wands, it's, it, it's a lot of, you've been carrying a lot of weight, a lot of emotional energy. Um, it's been difficult for you, but you've got, you've got it, with, it within you to take it and to handle it. You're going you're gonna to do what you need to do to shore yourself up and realize that you don't have to do it on your own. Spirit's there for you. You need to protect whatever it is, if it's you, your private space, your energy, your, your, your ideas, your family, whatever it is. You can bring things to a positive conclusion. Spirit says, yes, you can. Your intention is very strong, or it needs to be. But you need to open your mind up and, and, and ask for Spirit's assistance. And that means other people may come involved. So listen to what others have to say. You might be feeling exhausted. This is nine wands you're carrying. It's, it's a lot of energy. So... It's about the final, you know, to be able to make it through with the endurance to go forward. So ask about that. You're tired. You might be getting paranoid about things. Spirit says we're here to your rescue. So call on us for whatever it is that you need. You have it. 
in order to bring it about. You can take it, you can handle it. When we get tired, give ourselves a break, allow yourself to cry, call spirit in, say, I need you. I need you right now. I need you to do something about this. Karen, correct for neutrality. Karen. Three of fire. So three of wands is about, about a journey ahead, like thinking about where you're going to go next, right? You've come to a place, things look pretty good. Um, it's about having patience, about deciding on where is it that I want to go. So it's about getting clear on what, what it is that you want first before you can figure out where it is that you want to go. You could be making plans with a partner. They're showing making long-term plans. So it's telling you that things look good for you. So you can actually plan long into the future in this situation because you're going to be successful. It's a successful time for you. You, could, you need to maybe sit down and rest. Maybe you've come through something. You need to look and see how far you've come from where you were and realize. Sometimes we don't realize how far we've come, right? Keep the enthusiasm going. Keep your fire stoked. Um, you might have set something in motion and you have to wait until certain things come about. But have patience. Things are coming to fruition is what they're saying. So then use the time right now to figure out, okay, so my plans for the future. What, where do I see myself going next? What do I want to do next? Maybe I need to promote myself. What do I need to... What do I need to what loose ends do I need to tie up or, or what other other things can I work on while I'm waiting for that to happen? So that's your message. Linda Kennedy, okay, correct for neutrality on all levels. And that's it. That's the last person. Correct for neutrality on all levels. Nope. Uh, nope. That was it. That was it. Queen of Air. So this is seeing the truth to the situation. You see what's in front of you. It's like, okay, I'm not deluding myself. I'm not. I, I can see it. This is the truth. There's my crystal ball. I see what it is. I see a man in front of you, right at your heart. So I don't know if you know if this is something regarding a man, but he's standing right there and there's forward movement and there's magic ability. You have a magical ability to see the truth. So it's telling you to trust in your intuition. This is the queen of swords. So this is the queen of swords in the upright. So you see the truth of the situation. You're not gonna put up with any bullshit. You're gonna speak your truth. You wanna hear the truth. You're not gonna come across like a bitch. You're gonna come across controlled, balanced, logical. You didn't reach the status of queen by not having that energy or putting that work in. So this is about objectively looking at a situation, clearing away what does not work for me. That doesn't work for me. It's also seeing that people are fallible, not expecting perfection from other people. You're going to be a fair queen as well. But, and as you stand, you stand independent. You're experienced. You've gotten to this place because of all that you've been through in, in your life. You know what's going on. So at this moment, what I just heard, no one's going to blow smoke up your ass at this time. No one's going to blow smoke up your ass. But, if, but you are not to come across as the queen of swords in the reverse. Because when you do, you'll bring your own karma upon yourself. So this is about somebody who is connected and insightful. They, they can see what's going on. They are able to tap into people. They, they're able to see the underlying um, truth of a situation and, and of what's going on. She's not expecting perfection. Remember that? She's not taking life. like She's not coming as the queen of swords in reverse. So she's not angry. She's not judgmental. She's not vicious. She's fair. She's logical. Logical means I make room for others' mistakes. I see the truth, however. I'm not going to delude myself. I'm not in a fantasy. If there's any hidden agenda, I see it. I see it. And if I have been trying to tell myself that that isn't the truth, it's time now to wake yourself up and say it is the truth. So anyone that is in your presence that is not in the highest light needs to go at this time. This is about being realistic. That's your message. Okay. That's it. That's it, people. I hope everybody enjoyed their messages. I'm going to upload this and add it on so that YouTube gets it. It'll be uploaded. You're very welcome. I'm going to ask for a message for myself. Correct for neutrality on all levels. Correct for neutrality on all levels. You're welcome. Correct for neutrality on all levels. Correct for neutrality. Correct for neutrality. 
correct for neutrality. Left side. Okay. I don't take hangers on, so. Oh, yay. Right on. I got the star. Make a wish upon a star. So this is happy times. This is basically make my wish. I'm on the right path. Make optimistic long-term plans because everything I'm asking for is being poured out in front of me. Even if it comes in a way that I don't understand, it's definitely coming in my highest good. This is about believing in my dreams, what I'm being shown. This is about understanding, having confidence, optimism, being excited. I told you I felt this excitement that's building, right? I'm supposed to look into the future long term. So, so I'm meant to do that. That's a good, this is a good message for myself because I was wondering, am I, is this like a temporary thing? No, I'm supposed to be looking long term into the future. So where do you want to be long term into the future? This is where what I expect is planted in fertile soil and it comes to be. So what I'm asking for, I'm going to ask big. So this is about trusting your intuition, right? Following what spirit gives me. I told you I was getting all those audio messages. This is about having a sense of purpose and knowing the direction I'm on. I know I'm on the right path. This is about a, a, a new beginning, but a healthy, financially prosperous new beginning. Right on. I believe it. I feel it. Happy times. All right, you guys, that's it. I hope you guys have a fantastic day. I'm going to let you go. I'm going to upload this. i got to go get a drink. I'm, like, parched. I'll speak again soon. Love you. Thank you, Sandy, so much for helping. Bye.